My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a 1966 Chevrolet Bel Air with 38,800 actual miles. This is a super clean survivor, mostly original paint, rust free, original interior, original trunk, original motor compartment. It's a 283 automatic, power steering, power brakes. Air conditioning was recently added to it as ice cold air. And I'm just going to stand right in front of this door right here so you don't see that it's a four door. But actually, that's what makes it cool. We're selling station wagons, we're selling trucks. Four-door sedan is what people have. That's what they relate to. This is just a cream puff of a cruiser. If you like an original car, go to car shows and be comfortable. That's this one right here. In the glove box, you have the glove box pouch, uh, build sheet, has the Protecto plate, which has all the codes on it, the engine codes and who bought it and the dealer that sold it. You got the owner's manual, a little... Uh, accessory booklet got a whole bunch of registrations in here it's a two owner car from north carolina by the way but you can go to volocars.com as you can read all the specs study over a hundred pictures of each car and it's also where you'll find the prices on every car we have for sale we have 200 right now it's at volocars.com if you enjoy the video subscribe to our youtube channel click on the bell icon and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Yep, 1966 Bel Air Survivor. Underneath the car is not restored, it's not painted, not off the frame. It is original, it's never even been spray canned under there. Zero rust as far as, you know, rot, no cut patches or uh, just clean, clean original metal. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's just a clean original, uh, has a power glide automatic, has its original 336 ratio uh, rear end. They did add new dual exhaust, that is recent. The shocks looked recent. Uh, the brakes were inspected, they're in excellent shape. Uh, the e-brake cables all hooked up. So underneath is just a really nice uh, original. The body is also all original, no rust, no damage, never been an accident. It's a long car and this thing is straight. Uh, I've seen survivor cars where they still get all beat up in the garage and scraped. This thing is straight. The panels all fit square and flush and there's no rust. There's no, no issues, no bubbles. It is it's a mostly original paint, kind of door shut so nice. I believe from here across, this was repainted. The clear coat's just a little smoother than the rest. Not noticeable. Someone with an eye has to be looking for it to even know that. But I believe from what I've seen, the rest of the car is original paint. And it's held up really well. It's a little bit cloudy under these lights. There's a couple little stains here and there, like something dripped on it or a little touch up. But for its age, for a survivor paint job, this is one of the best I've seen. All the trim is bright and shiny. The moldings, the wheel well trim, all the stainless around the windows. The windshield is real clear. There are a few, few little nicks uh, on the glass, but all this trim, real nice. Door handles, rear windows nice and clear. Bumpers shiny, tail lights are real nice. And here's where I get kind of like a car nerd. I love original spatter paint because you hardly ever see it. I've had a few cars in here recently that have it, but the original spatter paint is different than the stuff out of the can. And it's in really nice shape in here. This is all the original paint. Trunk light works. Has the original trunk mat and it has some cracks. They put some clear tape over it. Uh, the tire's in good shape on a black rim. The jack assembly is all there. So really nice trunk. The interior is original and it's in excellent shape. All turquoise matches the outside. The upholstery is real nice. 
It has full set of front and back seat belts that were still an option in 66. The door panel, armrests, window cranks, the locks, the kick panels, all the trim, all that stuff's really nice. The horn ring on the steering wheel is just sparkling. The lenses are crystal clear. The gauges are clean. The heater control panel's real nice. The dash pad's mint. It does have a retro stereo fit right into the factory uh, radio hole. Bumper's nice and straight. All fits nice. Original antenna in real nice shape. So again, never spray painted. This is original. That motor has the original paint, original valve covers, manifolds, carburetor. It's all stock. It does have power steering, power brakes. And like I said, the air conditioning was added recently. It blows ice cold. Very clean engine bay. Squirters are hooked up. It's very nice. It has the horns. Batteries bolted down properly. The original headliner, tight as a drum. There's not a wrinkle. The visors are real nice. The mirror is crystal clear. Uh, inside the glove box is real nice. The light works. Door jams are real nice. It's the original weather strips, and they're in very good shape. Might have a little nick here or there in them, but overall very good. It's a nice, big family cruiser. You can have fun going to cruise nights in that. You can get the, the cooler, maybe get some old-style lawn chairs in the back. Make it a family car. Some old uh, games the kids used to play, uh, different games when they were going on road trips. That would just be fun. So there you have it. That's my impression of this one. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to reach out to the salesman. If you have any specific concerns or questions, make sure you ask them. They'll help you out the best they can. That's, uh, they can help you ship the car. They can help you get financing for this car. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new one's posted. Thanks for watching.